Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Arkham Horror, A Deal With The Devil, Turn 1. Right, oh, where are we up to? Well, our first player will be Akachi, she is down here at the, um, what is it, the old magic shop and uh, after her it will be Carolyn Fern who's up there at the Arkham Asylum. Next up will be Trish Scarborough. She's at the newspaper. And last but not least, we have Sister Mary, who's here at South Church. We also have a gate open at Waitley Farm. And it is guarded by a cultist. Dam, 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 dam. Because it's a yogi cultist who is magically immune. But enough of that. Let's crack on with the gameplay. And that means... The upkeep phase. And here we are at the upkeep phase. So, Akachi's first. She's over here. So, what have we decided to do? Well, I've decided to put her speed right up. Because uh, I think she is going to be reading a lot of tomes and stuff. Which normally take movement points. She's only got one focus. So, let's try and get everything where we want it to be. I'm not planning on her doing a lot of um, physical fighting. She's going to be a bit of a spellcaster, so let's get a will right up at four. And because she's doing spellcasting, we'll get her lore up to five. Now, she's right down at the old magic shop, so she's going to need all that uh, five speed because she won't be able to read Cult the Ghouls this turn because she's going all the way up to the newspaper where she'll be meeting Trish Scarborough because we're going to have a bit of a trading session. And I think Trish will give her the Staff of the Pharaoh and the Ancient Tablet because the Staff of the Pharaoh can be exhausted each turn so you can actually use a spell. Use a spell as if you had two free hands. So that should be very good with Dread Curse of Azathoth. So we shall look to do that, I think. So that'll be a good trade. And we may trade some cash as well. Um, so that is a catchy. She's going to move up to the newspaper. With any luck, she'll get a retainer as well. So let's do that. Let's get some trading done early doors. Always a good plan in Arkham Horror. So next up after a catchy, it is going to be the lovely Carolyn Fern. Now, she is at Arkham Asylum, but if we put her speed up to three, she can make it to the newspaper as well. So she may as well do a bit of trading because what we want to do is we want to get up to the Waitley Farm, if at all possible. Now, I'm not sure whether she should do it or Trish should do it. The main reason being neither of them can particularly get up to Waitley Farm because... Carolyn will be out of she hasn't got much speed anyway to be honest and even if she got the map of Arkham off Trish hmm what I might do is I might have Trish actually try and um, shut the Waitley farm gate she can get sort of like a bit nearer than Carolyn can do and Trish should be able to sort of tackle it at the end of next turn. But it's certainly an option. I think a pirate mentioned it. It's certainly an option that Carolyn could do it. But looking at it, I don't think we'll save much time either way. And I'll have I think I'll have Trish do it. Because of that, that means we'll we'll do some more trading in that the elder sign will go to Trish. And possibly the ancient tome, well, probably the ancient tome will go to Akachi. Let's just check the gate box. Would that be better off with somebody else? When you return to Arkham from another world, you can return to any location with an open gate, not just those leading to the other world you were in. Hmm. I might give that to Trish as well. So, uh, just on the off chance... That because it's going to take a couple of turns to get out of the Waitley Farm gate, we may get some horror gate that sort of comes up in the meantime. So I may give I may give the um, gate box to Trish as well. So that's Carolyn. So she needs a three speed to get to the newspaper. 
her fight is I've kept it like at two I'm not planning for her to do any sort of major fighting her wills at three just in case she has a horror check or something like that her law I've put that up at four because if she's going to be doing any fighting at all it will be with spells I think so she's another spell caster for us she hasn't got any spells but there you go we will hopefully get some down the line right so that is a catchy and that is carolyn next up is trish and sister mary and here we are with trish and sister mary so staff of the pharaoh and the ancient tablet are going to go to a catchy i think and she's going to keep a 38 revolver she's going to have, to have something to shoot that cultist with eventually she'll have the elder sign i think she'll give some of her money to Carolyn because Carolyn needs that money for her personal story so we'll leave two dollars I think and um, that two dollars can um, get her to and from Dunwich with any luck so that's pretty cool right and don't think we'll I don't think we'll change out any of these no nope, she'll keep those and so four fight yeah she's gonna be um yeah what we've done with her is we've moved one two three because i want her fight and sneak to be pretty good um move the speed up one because she's got the map of arkham she only needs three to get into dunwich even if we put it right up to four five with the map of arkham she couldn't get to the waitley farm she could only get to batwoods country so we may as well leave her in a location so she can at least have an encounter so i'm going to leave her at bishop's brook bridge and then she can get to the waitley farm we're just going to have to hope that we do not get a uh, crescent monster movement because that will mean we have to fight the cultist in Batwoods country and we cannot get into the Waitley farm we can't really afford a cultist going into a vortex so we just do not want the Dunwich horror coming out so we'll just have to hope that uh, the next gate we pull is not <laughs> doesn't have crescent monster movement hopefully it won't so yeah I think Trish is gonna be the one who goes up to Dunwich so one two three she can move these five times as per her normal focus. So she moved that one, two, three. She moved that one for four and she moved that one for five. So that is what her setup is for the upkeep phase. Next up, we've got Sister Mary. Now, what's she going to do? Well, <laughs> not a great deal. I've set her up with three speed. She's got no fight. I've put Will up to four. If she's going to do any sort of battling, whatever, um, it will be with um, it will be with uh, spells and stuff. So let's keep her will up, and um, we'll just have to hope we get a good spell or something. But ideally, she will be doing a lot of avoiding monsters. Hopefully, we'll have to have her. Well, she can't even really be a shopper because she's got no money. We'll just have to figure something out with Sister Mary. I don't know what. But um, yes, she's a bit of a problem. We'll get a law up. She's got a couple of um, spells, but they're not too much to shout about. We'll just have to play Sister Mary by ear. She is blessed. We don't have to roll for the blessing this turn, but we will do next turn. And yes, what's she going to do? Well, I've put her at three speed. She will go to the woods. It's a high frequency gate. Let's pick up a clue token before it disappears so she hasn't got a lot of clues well she hasn't got any clues she hasn't got any money so she hasn't really had much of a leg up to start with so uh, yeah if she goes around to start closing gates eventually we will have to start picking up clues and that's what she'll do everybody else is going to be at the northern part of Arkham so she may as well busy herself picking up clues in southern Arkham Right, that is it for the upkeep phase. Let's move on to the movement phase. And here we are at the movement phase. So 
It's a catcher to go first, and she's got six movement. She's got plus one speed, but she's going to have to use five of it. One, two, three, four, five, and she joins Trish at the newspaper. Now, she has got a spare movement point, but that is not enough to read Cool the Ghoul. So, but what she is going to do is she is going to do a bit of trading. What we're going to trade is... The ancient tablet because she should have a lot of movement points to burn so next turn she'll hopefully be able to spend three movement points discard the tablet roll those two dice and either get clues um, or spells we shall see so that goes to Akachi as does the staff of the Pharaoh Plus three to combat checks, but the real funky thing here is any phase we can exhaust to cast one spell as if we had two free hands and we and Akachi does have the dread curse of Azathoth. So that'll be a fantastic weapon for her. So that is fantastic and that is Akachi's movement. Next up is Carolyn Fern. And here we are with Carolyn at Arkham Asylum. So she's gonna move one, two, three. So she's also at the newspaper and she's also going to trade. She's going to give the ancient tome that is going to go to a catchy. So exhaust and spend two movement points to make a law minus one check. If you pass, draw one spell and discard ancient tome. If you fail, nothing happens. The elder sign is going to go to Trish. So during the Arkham encounter phase, you can seal a gate, lose one stamina and one sanity. So, funky, and we take a Doom token off the Doom track. Woohoo! So, that'll be good. She's also going to give Trish the gate box. When you return to Arkham from another world, you can return to any location. Just in case, you know, you never know, something may pop up where we can leave the Waitley Farm gate and go and close another one. So, gate box should be useful. And... Also, Trish is going to give $3 to Carolyn because Carolyn needs to succeed at her personal story. She needs $15 and this will put her up to $10. So that's pretty funky. In fact, what I'm thinking is if she hands across the dark cloak as well. If Carolyn gives the dark cloak as well to Trish Scarborough, that means that she would have absolutely no possessions or money up to have no possessions whatsoever we could take a bank loan and then we could default on it now nah, that's just being a bit gamey <laughs> that's being a bit gamey so um, we'll leave it at that right so that is Carolyn's movement next up will be Trish Scarborough Okay, just put all those items away and we're back to Trish. Well, Trish is going to start moving. She's going to go one, two to the train station. Then she is going to spend a dollar and she is going to catch the train to Bishop's Brook Bridge. So let's get across there. And there she is at Bishop's Brook Bridge. And there's the dollar she's spent. So brilliant. Right, that is it for her. And next up, it's Sister Mary. So let's get to South Church. Here we are with Sister Mary. So one, two, three, and let's pick up that clue. Super smashing, lovely, great. Next up is the Arkham Encounter phase. And here we are at the newspaper. So first up, we have a catchy. So the yellow north side uh, sorry the orange north side deck we could do with something funky right what's the right way up that's the right way up newspaper pass a look minus one check to find an article that a local citizen told you would shed light on the recent strange activities look minus one her look is zero <laughs> and she's not going to spend a clue or anything so let's see if there's anything bad I don't think there was game one clue token so no she just doesn't find anything so we'll put that back in 
and next up it is Carolyn. So she has some better luck. Newspaper. Editor Doyle Jeffries offers you a retainer. Oh yes, oh yes. In return for your fascinating stories, take a retainer card. Immense. That's what we wanted. So here we go. Here's a retainer card. Upkeep. Gain two dollars, then roll the die, and we don't even have to do it first time. So she will get two dollars, which will put her up to twelve. So hopefully she will be able to get to the back, the bank, take out a loan, straight back to Arkham Asylum, and pass her personal story. Excellent. We love retainers. Absolutely brilliant. Okie koke. Right, so not too bad, not too bad. At least nothing bad happened. So who's next up? Yes, it's Trish Scarborough, and she's in Dunwich. And here we are with Trish. So, here's the deck, let's give it a decent shuffle, and a cut, and what do we get? Bishop's Brook Bridge. The brook is covered in a thick mist tonight. Peering into it from the bridge, you see a large shape moving through the mist circling beneath you. Not wanting to find out what it is, you move to the street. Well, that's not too bad. So we go to Village Commons. Top banana. So we have actually moved on one anyway. They've got no flying monsters, so not a big deal. Well, we haven't rolled a single die yet. Let's see if, uh, if Sister Mary will end up rolling one in the woods. So let's get across there. And here we are with Sister Mary at the woods. So... That means the red uptown deck. Nice, that's the right well. Oh, drop one. Come on, something decent. And we get the woods. You find a sleeping Sheldon gang member near the still. Make a sneak minus two check to try swipe the shotgun he has dropped on the ground. If you pass, take a shotgun from the common item deck, if there is one. If you fail, the guard awakens. You are caught and beaten, losing two stamina, but escape with your life. Move to the street. We have got a big problem. Well, <laughs> reason I'm laughing is, um, obviously, if she loses two stamina, she's down to one stamina, but... Uh, Pencil Parley mentioned during the introductory episode, like, get her a shotgun. <laughs> well, she's got an opportunity to get a shotgun, except I think she has only got two sneak. I'll just check. Yep, she's got two sneak, unfortunately. And it's minus two, I think, on this. Minus two. But she is blessed. We are going to spend the clue that she picked up. So we're going to spend the clue that she picked up so she can actually get a roll. She is blessed. So she's going to get one die and she needs a four or better. <sighs> Come on. Come on, single die. And I've missed it. A four. She does it. She's blessed. She's amazing. And she gets a shotgun. She's had to spend a clue. But um, I think it's worth it to get a shotgun. So it's coming through parley. Woohoo! We've got a shotgun packing none. Excellent stuff. Right, let me just dig that out. Won't be a second. Oh yeah. She's packing heat, baby. So plus four combat checks. Any phase when using the shotgun in combat, all sixes rolled count as two successes. It's a two-handed weapon. So she'll have to put a cross down. Put... Who cares? She's got a shotgun, baby. We love it. right Oh, So that is the end of the Arkham Encounter phase. Let's move on to the Laugh and Chuckle phase. And here we are at the Laugh and Chuckle phase. Woohoo! Shotgun. Yes. right Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's get the... Let's get the stuff. Ugh. 
Well, there we go, we've got that. May as well get the monster bag as well while we're about it. And let's pick the top card. What are we going to get? And remember, we will get a Reckoning card if a gate opens this time. And we do have a gate opening at the bloody science building. Oh, that's really bad. The reason that's really bad is the science building isn't, it doesn't, though it's an unstable location, you don't actually often get gates opening there. And this means other high frequency gates like the Woods and Independent Square and all the rest of them. Uh, it means they're, they're not sort of blocked off. So we could have done without that. But let's sort this out. So get rid of this. And right let's go through the card so science building we need one of these we lose the clue off the science building that goes to the witch house so there's two clues there and obviously doom is up to two and where are we going oh it's a sanity gate and the Great Hall of Celiano, minus one, it'll be minus two with the Lurker. Remember, we've got to get two successes. And it's Star Monster Movement. Uh, sorry, it's a Stargate, so we'll get rid of Star Monsters should we manage to shut it. But first of all, what the... What have we got? Oh, our old friend, a bloody Chthonian. So these are a pain. And yes, look at that, we lose stamina. We've got so much stamina to burn as well, haven't we? Damn it. And they are really difficult to kill as well. So that is about the, one of the worst monsters that we could have pulled given our situation. That is appalling. Oh. So we've got a Chthonian at the science building not going to be moving anywhere and it's just going to be giving us a whole heap of bloody stamina problems right reckoning cards do we do that now i'll do it at the end i think we'll go through the whole card and then we'll pull the reckoning um i can't remember i don't think it says anything about you've got to do it like immediately you've done the gate right so we've done that we've moved the clue already We've got circles, squares, and diamonds are moving. So we've got none of those. So no monster movement. So town welcomes visitors. What's this? Headline. The first player chooses a dimensional symbol. Draw new monsters from the monster cup to replace each monster with that dimensional symbol in Arkham. Ignore monsters in the sky, but not in the outskirts. Return monsters so replaced to the cup after all new monsters have been drawn. Yes! After all that moaning! Guess what the first player's going to do? It's going to pick triangles! <laughs> so, let's replace it! Woo! Let's just get something like even worse, but... I didn't fancy that Chthonian. This doesn't look good. A Dark Young. Dark Young's are pretty bad as well. But. Physically resistant. Nightmarish one. We'll get a catchy on the job. So. That's. The trees trembled. Leaves fluttering around us. The earth shook. On the. What? The thuds of giant hooved feet. Grew ever closer. Brr, look at that. It's a real menace. But it's not going to move, and I think, yeah, so this is going to be rolling, <laughs> going to be rampaging around the science building. But um, I think Akachi should be able to give that a good shoe in, I think. So, but I'd rather have that than the Chthonian, which now gets replaced and put back in the bag. Yes, that Chthonian, we couldn't afford, you know... If we kept getting triangular monster movement and failing the dice roll, we couldn't afford to keep losing those stamina. At least this guy isn't going to move around. And Akachi, you know, it's physically, what is it, resistant? 
so we'd have to use a spell on it anyway and um, I think Akachi could go and deal with it with the Dread Curse of Azathoth so I prefer that to the Chthonian so not a bad card after all so let's get rid of it right oh so that is it for the laugh and chuckle phase how did the turn go not too bad not too bad we got a retainer for carolyn so hopefully she'll soon be able to pay off her well go to arkham asylum and pay her bribe and get her personal story trish is well on her way to the waitley farm she should be able to get there next turn um, we didn't have crescent monster movement so she should be able to kill that cultist and go in the gate she has an elder sign so hopefully hopefully we'll be able to get our first seal what else a catchy nothing great happened to her but she is now got a load of tomes and stuff so hopefully she'll be able to do a short you know a couple of short jaunts and to get clue tokens all that sort of stuff uh, spend movement points so she might pop to the curiosity shop she may stay at the newspaper and just use up all her movement points on all her funky tomes we'll sh we shall see and sister mary she'll continue to hoover up clues i think so there's two clues at the witch house can she get there with this one one two three four yes if we move her speed up to four she can get there and she can pick up a couple of clues there again high frequency gate let's get them clues before they disappear there's not a lot of clues to be had we haven't got a lot of clues hanging around and really we could do with a lot more of them if we're going to start sealing gates otherwise we're going to struggle I'll tell you what i forgot nearly forgot the reckoning card didn't i but seeing as nobody's took a dark pact or anything hopefully it will be fine so give them a quick shuffle and what do we get through the threshold every investigator in arkham with one or more power token ah we haven't got any is drawn through the closest open gate his choice if there is a tie well nobody's got a power token so unlucky so that's cool you shall get rid of that baby discarded <laughs> so i think we're now up to date despite nearly forgetting the reckoning card that is it for turn one of arkham horror a deal with the devil hope you enjoyed it um some quite interesting things happened but we're in a bit of a pickle because we've got two open gates and one of those open gates is in a like not very frequent location so we're gonna have to get a bit of a shift on i think and we need a bit of luck on the clue front because we don't have many clues at all so it's a good job we've got that elder sign right oh so thanks very much for watching thanks so much for subscribing and for commenting and for all the hints and tips and uh, discussions we have around various rules and stuff always fun in a game of arkham as usual if you notice me cocking up or making a mistake or missing a glaring opportunity please please let me know in the comments and i will do my best to fix it in the case of mistakes and i will thump myself around the head in the case of missed opportunities but uh other than that um oh thanks to everybody who's gone to board game links to upvote the site thank you very much um, that is super and uh, other than that that is it for this episode i hope you join me next time but until then this is me cat weasel signing off toodaloo